can I tell you a story? Perhaps I forget. Maybe a year ago, I was doing research about angels. So I was going on different websites trying to figure out the different types of angels. And I went to this one website and it looked really crazy, but I was still looking on it. Then all of a sudden, I see this crazy demonic image. Like when I saw it, it really did something to me. I don't know what word to describe it. Like, I felt like a supernatural feeling when I saw that image. And I quickly went off that page and I started to do something else. And maybe a week or two later, I believe I was researching something about God or something like that. And all of a sudden, now this may sound pretty crazy or whatever else, but all of a sudden, that image of that demon came to my mind very, very strongly. Not only that, let me put this down. <laughs> Not only that, I could feel goosebumps and the fear come all upon me. It was really crazy. And I felt a very, very strong demonic presence. Very strong. And when that happened, I was like, demons? Because the only one I saw was one or within my mind or whatever else. But I said, demons, I bind and cast you out right now. I believe I said that about four or five times. I forget. But the more I said it, it was that demon was trying to put more fear into me. And I continued to say that, then all of a sudden, I could not feel its presence. I could not feel that fear. I could not feel what I was feeling before. So what am I trying to say? Am I trying to entertain you with a story? Of course not. What I am trying to say, be careful of the pictures that you look at. Be careful when you are looking at pictures on Facebook and on these other sites. On one of my videos, this person was asking for help. But the weird thing about it, this person was referring to a psychic on Facebook trying to tell people the psychic's name and trying to make people curious to look at that person's page. And I was thinking, I am not going to let that comment stay on my page. So I deleted that person's comment. This person put the same comment up again. I erased it a second time this person done it like five times. So I knew exactly what this person was trying to do. This person was trying to get others to look on this person's page. And I believe if people would have looked at those pictures, boom, a demon right into your life. So what am I trying to say? Be careful of the images that you look like. I mean, be careful of the images that you look at. 
it may seem harmless, whatever else, especially with, I can't say only with guys, but men and women. Stop looking at these seductive pictures of men and women, of women with these big hips and big breasts and big old whatever else. Stop looking at those photos because you can get easily demonized by looking at the wrong pictures. You can easily get a lust spirit or make that lust spirit already in you stronger. When I get on Facebook, I don't get on Facebook to look at females and stuff like that. No, I go on Facebook to post things about God. That is pretty much it. Or help people with God. I don't search and look at all of these photos and stuff like that. Actually, let me say this. It was this one woman, this one person was telling me I should speak to this woman. And I checked out her pictures, extremely demonic pictures, man, crazy. So what I am trying to say, be careful. Stop wanting to look at all of these photos because I'm telling you, that stuff is going to get you a demon. I only looked at that demonic picture one time, perhaps for like five or 10 seconds, not even that. And somehow that demon was able to transfer itself to me. So when I was doing things of God, it must have got aggravated or something. I don't know. And it was really acting up, man. <laughs> Crazy. Only one time. And I'm thinking, and that demon's presence was really, really, really strong. Really strong. Like, I don't believe I feel a presence that strong that often really strong presence usually when i feel a demonic presence you know it's not really that strong but <laughs> that one day man crazy and i thank god that you know he was there to help me because man so i pray that this all makes sense be careful man don't do anything foolish or continue to do things that are foolish. God bless.